The shift change at the ASOS warehouse in Barnsley. People are still turning up for work, but some are concerned about their safety. The GMB union says these videos were recorded over the weekend at the site. People in the security queue to go in are not standing two metres apart, and they aren't being forced to. The ASOS shuttle bus to and from the warehouse seems so crowded that social distancing is impossible. There are warning signs up at the site, but some who work here feel unsafe and unable to stay at home. I think the, the cart between a rock and an hard place, and they shouldn't have to make that choice. I think the cart between still going to work because the company has told them that if they don't want to come to work, there's no, there's no pressure on them to come to work, you know, but all they're going to get is £94 a week um, SSP or £94 a week from the company because the company's revoked company sick pay um, for coronavirus. At the weekend, the GMB union surveyed 470 ASOS warehouse workers. 98% said they feel unsafe. One respondent said hundreds of people are coming to work by bus and there's no safe distance between them. Another claimed the warehouse is overcrowded and keeping the two metres safety distance between employees is difficult. And a third said nothing at the warehouse is safe. Dirty toilets, sometimes without toilet paper, without soap and without hand sanitising gel. If you can't keep your workers safe, whatever the profit motive is, if you can't keep them safe, then you should shut down until you can. Over the weekend, ASOS has been having a sale. The company insists it can safely process the orders that were made. But the MP, in whose constituency the ASOS warehouse is, feels differently. I think it's completely irresponsible. It's clearly going to increase demand at a time where we should be reducing the number of people on site. I think ASOS need to close their warehouse and put people um, before their profits. ASOS insists it's doing no such thing. The company says it totally refutes the allegations its warehouse is operating unsafely. In a statement, the chief executive Nick Baton said, in line with government advice and with support from the community union and Barnsley Borough Council, we are striking the right balance between keeping our warehouse operational for the good of our employees and the wider economy and maintaining the health and safety of our staff, which is always our number one priority. Last week, Next was forced to shut down its online operation after warehouse staff made it clear they didn't feel comfortable at work. Now other retailers need to show they can win the confidence of those who work for them. John Hills, News at 10.